In the fall of 2011, Second Cup changed their slogan to, there's a little love in every cup. And my first thought was, where do they keep it? <laughs> in the hearts of their employees? How many cups of coffee do they serve in an eight hour shift? It must be exhausting. Rationing love? Does everyone get the same amount? How do you do inventory on love? I don't think a pulse reading or checking their breathing would leave an accurate trail of paperwork. Some discrepancies might come up. No. I think they keep it behind the counter so they don't run out. But is it fresh? Because I want that love without those preservatives. I want naturally grown love, not love spiced with addiction or spliced with desire. Give it to me raw. But don't give me that zero calorie flowery bullshit Splenda love. I want this love to provide me with some energy so when you're holding the double dose, make the rip and send that love making power to my hips. But don't just fill my mouth with some flavor fling or some frothy foam about to melt away. I want it to stay. After taste tasting like a smooth latte, not leathery like emotional baggage. I don't want this love to cause me guilty misery, mil misery. but I want that fair trade though. Yeah. I used to be the Aussie fair about the topic, but if they're serving imported love from the tropics, then I want these love farmers left with a fair wage. I'm sure they're using A-grade hoes and fertilizing the soil with a rich layer of failed relationships. So the love they grow will grow to be old. Some of that organic love, that naturally grown love branded with whole oats, so when it slips down my palate and rolls through to my heart, it lowers my cholesterol. Yeah. Yeah. Blowing up my veins like river channels, so that my heartbeat beats like a teletune animals. This way, even if the love grew old, it would always feel a little young, pretending the taste of that first crack grain. Your name suggests I'm gonna ask for seconds, but isn't a second cup of, little, of love a little excessive? Shouldn't the first cup of love be enough? I was told you can't buy it, but they're totally selling it. Second cup, we can buy love for a bit over a buck plus tax. But at the end of the day, it's just a cup of franchise coffee. Just a piece of a chain hung around a bell curve of consumers. Perhaps the focus groups and stockholding troops pooped out a picture-perfect Disney love and put it in those cups. But personally, that's not quite my cup of love. No.